Hey guys, today we are planning to change the VTEC solenoid gasket. I have a leak on there. And um, to start off, you need a 3 8 ratchet, an extension, a 12 millimeter, some brake cleaner, uh, the gasket itself, the flathead, if you uh, need to pry it out, and also a clean um, oil pan that you're gonna put under if oil leaks out. And you can reuse that same oil and you can put it back into your engine. So you won't waste any oil or have to go out and buy oil. I also forgot to mention, you're going to need a jack, a jack stand, a 19 millimeter um, so uh, socket to remove these lung nuts from the tire. Before loosening anything else, loose these connections. The VTEC uh, solenoid connector and a connector that's in the back. And after you're done with that, you're going to loosen one, two, and three bolts that hold this um, filter housing in place. So after removing the housing, I couldn't remove the connector because I'm not going to bust my fingers in this freezing temperature. But just put the gasket like this, lubricate it, clean um, everything else with brake cleaner. Make sure it's thoroughly clean because you don't want to get any um, debris or draw on that. I'm going to clean this right now. And then just put the bolts back in. And just remember, this big bolt goes to the top right. The, uh, the second to biggest goes to the top left. And then the smallest goes to the bottom right. Actually, these are the same, so it doesn't really matter. After putting the bolts back in, put them in the criss, uh, tighten them in the crisscross pattern, starting from here, there, and there, and put the connector back on. And just be careful you don't didn't snap it or broke it, because then you're gonna have problems along the way. And then after you put tighten these bolts up, start her up, clean everything else with brake cleaner, and make sure that nothing's leaking. And if it's nothing's leaking, you're good and you're done after that. Make sure there are no leaks coming from the filter housing or the VTEC solenoid gasket. In this case, nothing's leaking and you should be all right. So this is how you do a VTEC solenoid gasket on a 1998 Honda Accord or any Honda that has this type of um, housing. Thank you for watching and have a nice day.